More and more dermatologists and gynecologists are breaking into the look good, feel good market of elective procedures. And while their staff may be qualified to do things like laser hair removal and chemical peels, when it comes to actual plastic surgery, they could lack some of the qualifications, not to mention experience. The 19th April Molina investigates one surgery gone way wrong. After gaining 99 pounds during pregnancy, Daphne Rios was disappointed with her post-baby body, especially the excess skin under her arms. You won't catch me in short sleeves or sleeveless. Determined to do something about the so-called bat wings under her arms, she consulted with her ob who advertised doing the procedure. During the surgery, uh, I actually woke up. Rios remembers being incoherent for nearly 48 hours after the surgery. She also said there were no post-op instructions given to her or her daughter, and when one of the incisions got infected, she didn't know what to do. They wanted me to try to remove necrotic tissue with a wet um, cloth. In addition to having issues with anesthesia and wound care, Rio says the doctor's work fell short of expectations. Her new doctor, Thomas Genevy, says patients considering plastic surgery should have a buyer beware mentality. Be particularly wary of a doctor who normally doesn't do the procedure. When you look at the special, you go, well, why is he doing that procedure? And if he's doing it in the office or she, uh, then they don't have privileges at another hospital to do it. Another prudent step when you're surgeon shopping, check to see if they're board certified. You really do want someone who's actually has had training <laughs> in that procedure more so than uh, a weekend course or something like that. Rios is in settlement negotiations with her former doctor, but is looking forward to a board certified plastic surgeon finishing the job. April Molina, KSAT 12 News.